Hello friends, I am Sharyu Pujari and I am a verified educator on an academy. You can follow me on an academy learning app where you will find my other courses as well. Like my previous course was on characteristics of sewage. This course is on treatment of sewage and in this lesson we are going to see skimming tank which is a part of preliminary treatment. So friends do rate, review and recommend. Hello friends, welcome to an academy and my 7th lesson on scheming tank by Sharyu Pujari. About me, I am a verified educator on an academy. I have completed MTech in Environmental Science and Technology uh, and B in Civil Engineering. I have 2 years of experience in teaching and you can follow me on this link. So if you follow me, you will get notified every time I publish a new lesson or new course on this platform. So this is my profile on an academy where you will find my other courses as well. So friends do rate review and recommend my courses and lessons share this video and subscribe us on youtube channel so friends this lesson is on scheming tank which is also known as a flotation chamber before to this we have seen some points like introduction to some lessons uh, the first one was on introduction to treatment of sewage where we have seen the, all the classification in detail right then we have seen we have started with the preliminary treatment and that first process or the first treatment of sewage is the screening and then it is grid chambers and then the third one is scheming tank right so let's see the scheming tank so it is generally aimed to remove oil and grease from the wastewater flow or the sewage so sewage contains too much of grease and oils or oils which include fats waxes soaps fatty acids etc these materials may enter into the sewage from the kitchens of restaurants and houses from motor garages oil refineries um, soap and candle factories etc right so they are just normally present in large amounts in the industrial wastewater so this oil and grease is found in large amount from industrial wastewater right so if this grease and oils are not removed uh, then it may interfere with the activated sludge treatment process and also inhibit the biolog biological growth in trickling filters and the scheming tanks are placed before the sedimentation tank so first process we have seen that is screening then the grid chambers and then is the scheming tank and the, then comes the primary sedimentation or sed sedimentation tanks so this scheming tank is placed before the sedimentation tank so this is a, a section where you can see a scheming tank here waste wastewater is coming air in from the bottom the compressed air is provided here the layer of oil and grease is is there and then from this compartment this oil and grease layer is removed and wastewater is then sent to the sedimentation tank and this wastewater is free from the oil and grease layer right so this uh, here the air is blown air is blown by an aerating device through the bottom the the rising air tends to coagulate or solidify the grease and cause it to rise to the surface and from there it is removed right so it gets collected in a compartment and from there the oil and grease layer is removed right so this is the process uh, how the skimming tank works so next is the efficiency of skimming tank can be increased by passing the chlorine gas that is 2 mg per liter of sewage along with the compressed air right chlorine may also be added as a solution with the sewage discharge just ahead of the air diffuser plates right so the action of chlorine is to destroy the protective colloidal effect of protein which holds the grease in emulsified Form. so the action of chlorine is very important so it increases the efficiency of skimming tank by three to four times so it is very effective so the detention time should be uh, two minute to five minute or three minutes to five minutes right 
नेक्स्ट इज द डिजाइन ऑफ स्कीमिंग टैंक सो एम्पेरिकल फॉर्मूला इज गिवन फॉर दिस एंड द सरफेस एरिया कैन बी फाउंड आउट बाय सरफेस एरिया इज इक्वल टू एल इन टू बी इट इज इक्वल टू जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सिक्स टू टू क्यू बाय वी आर जीरो पॉइंट जीरो जीरो सिक्स टू टू स्मॉल क्यू बाय वी आर वेर स्मॉल क्यू इज इक्वल टू रेट ऑफ फ्लो ऑफ सीवेज इन मीटर क्यूब पर डे and vr is equal to minimum rising velocity of greasy material to be removed in meter per minute generally it is 0.25 meter per minute right and detention time as i said it is from 2 minutes to 5 minutes or 3 minutes to 5 minutes right so this is a empirical formula related to the scheming tank and we can easily find find out surface area of scheming tank using this formula which is l into b that is surface area is equal to 0.00622 small q by vr right so this formula is very useful some examples or questions may be asked on that so next mcq or one mark question can be asked like this the question is floating substances like oil fat and grease are separated and removed by option a is bar screens option b is primary sedimentation option c is skimming tank and option d is trickling filter so oil and grease are removed only in skimming tanks right so the option c is the correct option here bar screens uh, remove floating materials but not oil and grease right and primary sedimentation also does not remove oil and grease right so skimming tank is the correct option for this question and trickling filter is a part of secondary treatment right so this is a uh, this was some information related to skimming tanks and also this uh, whatever the grease uh, layer which is removed that can be disposed of either by burning or burial method so in this way we can uh, dispose of the skimmings that right that is the layer of grease or oil that is removed from the waste water right so uh, this was about skimming tanks and next lesson will be on uh, a primary clarifier that is a primary sedimentation tank so it is bit similar to the plain sedimentation which i have explained in my water supply engineering part right so that uh, that you should refer refer my lessons on plain sedimentation pro- for primary clarifier but in this course also i am going to explain primary clarifiers for waste water or for sewage treatment in that we are going to see its our design and will solve some examples on primary clarifier as well so friends please do rate review and recommend my courses and lessons and follow me because you will get notified every time i publish a new lesson or new course because i am publishing lessons in a sequence of the treatment of sewage so continuing in a sequence is a uh, very important so that you you will get an clear idea about the treatment process that is carried out any in any treatment plant right so for that purpose you should go through the sequence of my lessons that i am providing in each course so friends uh, do share this video and subscribe us on youtube channel as well and thank you for watching